Puccini opera di Rodolfo and Mania. Go ahead. 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 Okay. Question three. How many strings are there on a pedal harp? No. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. No. Incorrect. Uh, tell me. Fifty-seven. No. Clive. Forty-seven. Yep. Forty-six or forty-seven. Yeah, I I'll uh, finish the question pretty much so yeah. no one loses the point. Then. I hope so. <laughs> are you ready? No. Yes. Question four. What type of creature is a Pacific sea wasp? <laughs> okay. A fish. Incorrect. Uh, tell me. <coughs> Jellyfish. Yeah, specifically. No point also to finish the question. Are you ready? Question five. Out of the four members of the cause, who is the oldest? <laughs> Steve K. Again. Andrea. Incorrect. Steve R. Jim. Yeah, Jim. He's been this for about 10 years, I think. Um, you ready? Yeah. Oh, question six. What does the acronym WRAF stand for? DK. Women's Royal Air Force. Yeah. Just one of them silly ones. I don't think it's a wrap, it's perfectly sensible, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them like that. Are you ready? Question 7. In which city is the Whitney Art Gallery? What? Moira. No. Alwyn. Oxford. No. Tony. Manchester. No. Steve Cage. Oh, yes! Cage Cambridge. No. Steve R. Cambridge. Yeah. Um, London. No. Mark. Chester. No. Michael. Leeds. No. Chris. Brayton. No. Clive. New York. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to doubt myself then. <laughs> <laughs> no, when Clive gets one of you can start doubting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping this isn't too obscure, isn't it? Okay. Are you ready? Hmm? Question eight. First broadcast in 1948, in which early radio soap is Mary worried about Jim? <laughs> Myla. This is Dave's diary. Oh, great answer. Great answer. The only one who was alive then was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question nine. Which. Which creature can turn its stomach inside out? Ah, oh, yes. ah. So, no. Ah. Uh, it's okay. A, a summer fish. No. <laughs> Mark. Uh, yeah. no. So, Salamander. No. Chris. Kangaroo. No. Clive. Starfish. Yep, starfish. Oh, well, I'm going I said a starfish. No, you didn't. You said a <laughs> summer fish. Summer fish. <laughs> I said. Yeah, this English said, uh, Slurfish. fish. You said tall fish or something. I said, Slurfish. Come on, I'll press it. Are you ready? Uh, who got that, Clive? Clive got that, yeah. He made me say. Two points, no, no, no minus. Question 10. I've got, let me just get Clive these points on. Right. Yeah, thanks. Sorry about that. Okay. Question 10. Features of this city include a golden dome, an old bridge, a bell tower, a clock tower, and a Luxor obelisk. Trademark! <laughs> Michael. Las Vegas. No. Chris. Istanbul. No. Clive. Thebes. No. Tell me, have you finished the question? Yeah. New York. No. Steve. What? Oh, yes! Steve. Steve C. Steve R. No, Steve C. No, he's not the answer. Steve R. Alexandria. No. Mark. Cairo. Steve K. Innsbruck. No. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? No? I 
Oh, he says, Giddy, Paris. Yes. It looks all right. Okay, okay, question 11. Which film's cast features Kevin Whateley, Naveen Andrews, Colin Firth, Willem Dafoe, Juliet Binoche, and Ray Fiennes? Grand Booth Best Hotel? No. I finished the question, so you are Yeah, right. Clive. English version? Yeah. Well done. Of course. Good uh, three of, at least three of those were in Grand Booth Best Hotel. <laughs> Yeah, but well, I guarantee you know all of them. Kevin yeah. Kevin yeah. 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 Can somebody tell me what I should enjoy about the series? From what? It, should I watch the English patient again? Shall I get it next time around? No. Well, don't say it because I haven't seen you guys. Who got the point, Steve K? No. Five. Five. Let's try to see. Yeah. Five's on fine. We'll see. Are you ready? No, no, no. not quite. Question twelve. In Art Garfunkel's two UK number ones, which part of the body is featured in both? Eyes. 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 Yeah. Don't know what the other one is. I can't remember what it is, but definitely. I only have a theme. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Question thirteen. Timo Boll and Matthew Saeed are both associated. Oh yeah. Table tennis. Yep. Both associated with which sport? Yeah. Are you ready? Question 14. What word links a palace or fortress in Spain? A film. Steve K. A Granada. No. Lose a point. Steve R. Citadel. Lose a point. I'll win. Alhambra. Lose a point. Ooh. That's what I was going to say. Chris. Lose a point. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you lost them all? Steve K, one point. Steve R, one point away. Chris, one point away. Alwyn. Alwyn, I've done Alwyn already. Are you ready? I've been for a point. <laughs> what were linked to Palace or Fortress in Spain, a film starring Bruce Willis, and Taylor Swift's fourth album? Tony. So Felix? No, no. Oh, one. yes! Mark. Columbra? No, I heard what said. Oh, <laughs> Mark, uh, Michael. Michael. No, it's not well, it's red something, isn't it? It's red. It's just red. Yeah, that's the answer, yeah. Mm. I don't think anyone was getting it, though. Yeah, yeah Alhambra's translation is red. red. Oh, red. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. film is red yeah. with the title of yeah. Taylor Swift film, red. Right. Sorry about that. that <clears throat> Question 15. In which English town would you visit the Octagon Theatre? <laughs> Tony? Ready? No. Steve K? Sheffield. No, no, no. Michael? Michael? Scarborough? No. Mark? Stockport? No. Steve R? Chester? No. Chef Five? Bolton. Yeah, Bolton. Yeah, of course, you thought we were all from Cousin. That's kind of something too mixed up. Glad to see there, Fonz Point here. Are we ready? Question 16. From the Greek meaning beam or ray, which chemical element has the symbol AC? <laughs> Michael. Michael Actium? No. Tell me. Actinium. Yeah, oh, sorry, I couldn't give you one. Actinium, yeah. I'll finish it though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> question 17. Which first name links these last names? Shakespeare, Davis, Hornby, Anderson, Owen. <laughs> Tony. Clive. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a reference to someone. Yeah. Well, you're not putting Dunn in the last one. And, and Dunn was the. Uh, <laughs> one. Uh, question 18. Matching the record of Arkle and ridden by Jim Colotti, which horse. Oh, Mark. Best mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Best mate. That's Yeah. Question 19. Which Indian Australian writer won the Booker Prize for <coughs> the Steve K. V.S. Michael? No. Michael Madge won. Michael oh, I've got I'll, I'll sing. No, you both lost the point. Michael uh, won. There's quite a lot of them really, isn't there? Won the Booker Prize for his novel, The White Tiger. <coughs> Tell me. He's small. 
Oh, no, you're not going uh, to. Clive, I don't think you do it. Yeah, so I, knew it. I, I told you it'd be one of you two. Yeah, yeah. I knew it would be one of you two. Clive is so cool bringing up this bloody man. Chris is a super man. God. I've got Mrs. Question 20. <laughs> Which band has had commercial success with the songs King, Shine, and Anna <laughs> Shirt? No, no. <laughs> King, Shine, Aswad. No, lose a point on you. Steve, no. Lose a point. Chris? Uh, oh, okay. uh, Lose point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you be felt it? Lose point. With the songs King Shine and Eyes Shut in 2015. Oh, yeah. Tony, uh, let me go through these while you think about that. Anyone? Tony, Steve R. What's on my hand? Steve K. And Chris. You are. Alwyn? Yes, yes. 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 So is that not Yeah. Somebody yeah. Peterson, I think. Two Peterson. Vicky Peterson. Vicky Peterson. Yeah. Peterson. Twenty-two. In are you ready? Yeah. In which year did Geronimus Hat found Cronenberg? I trained on it. Great speed sixty-four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question 23. What do we call the place known by the Romans as Camulodunum? <laughs> Tony and Clive together. Turn to the person opposite you or next to you and whisper your answers, please. Go on. Colchester. Colchester. Yeah. So one point each. <laughs> Question. 24. Which actress did Kate Blanchett play in the film? <laughs> Tony. Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Question 25. And finally. Hold it. Oh, sorry. Go. 25. What is the next highest prime number after 43? <laughs> oh, I think! Yep. There you go. Well, yeah, I've got that. I've got a book. <laughs> Zero.